Go, go. As the earth trembled and Mount Everest literally shook, a secret unfolded atop the world's highest peak. The following year, as climbers made their way to the summit, they noticed that something was drastically different. But for some reason, the Nepali government wanted to keep it veiled in secrecy. The famous Hillary Step was no more. The Hillary Step, ostensibly one of the most famous and most iconic parts of Mount Everest outside of the Khumbu Icefall itself, had fallen off in the earthquake of 2015. And the government said it had not in fact fallen. But the proof is there in photographs from countless climbers who had been there the year before and the year after. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Hillary Step and why all roads lead to the fact that it's gone. And coming up later in the video, we'll do a before and after comparison so you can decide if a Hillary Step is gone or it's still there. In 2017, Outside reported that the Hillary Step, the iconic feature 200 feet below Everest's summit, had been fundamentally altered by the 2015 earthquake that shook the mountain. The reporter based his findings on first-hand accounts from mountaineering guides Garrett Madison and Ben Jones. But the rumors of the step's demise had begun before that. Early in 2016, five-time summiter at the time, David Leonio, who has been a guest on Everest Mystery, reported that the Hillary step was in fact gone. Guide Tim Mosdale posted on his Facebook page, the Hillary step is no more. And then finally, the Nepali government weighed in. They begged to differ. Ang Sharing Sherpa, the president of the Nepal Mountaineering Association, was quoted to say that Tim Mosdale was mistaken. The interview went on to say that the Hillary step had merely been covered by snow and that the climbers were just having an easier time getting over the step. So I reached out to several people asking what they thought. Had they heard anything new about what the Nepali government was actually saying about the Hillary step? Namely, among them, Alan Arnett, who had done two online articles in his blog about the Hillary step. And the question always keeps coming up. Why would the Nepali government even care to say, no, it didn't fall down? Does it really matter? If you had spent 11000 dollars on a permit to go climb the mountain and had dreamed of it for many years and saved all your money and you had heard that the Hillary step was gone would you cancel your trip absolutely not so let's get into it but first I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe and click the bell so you're notified next time another fascinating video comes out on Everest mystery and also, I hope you'll take a moment to check out the membership of Everest Mystery. Click the join button and it will give you two tiers of membership. All of them welcome you into a community of like-minded individuals who are interested not only about Mount Everest, but about mountains around the world and tragedies that take place there. And hopefully what we can learn from those tragedies, but also the great successes and the beautiful things that we love about Mount Everest and all the mountains the world. Here's a pretty important question to ask. Does it even matter if the Hillary step is there or not? Well, yes, because ostensibly the Hillary step is the crux to the summit of the mountain and was one of the most pivotal sections when Hillary and Norgay made their way to make the first ascent of Mount Everest in 1953. In 2016, on my way up from Camp 2 toward Camp 3, one heads to the end of the Western Coombe and gets to the bottom of what's known as the Lhotse Face. I was with my climbing partner at the time, Lakpa Sherpa. He points to his left and he says, you see that big boulder over there? That used to be the Hillary Step. And as many of you know, in 2015, there was a devastating earthquake and that caused avalanches that came tumbling down the mountain and took the lives of 18 people in base camp, an absolutely devastating day on the mountain. And in 2015, that boulder fell from all the way up there down to here. 
we were probably 15 or 20 feet from the boulder and I was incredulous. There was no way that a boulder could fall that many thousand feet or meters from almost literally on the summit of Mount Everest and not explode on the way down. But he insisted, he said, that is the Hillary step. Regrettably, I did not take a photograph, and in the years since, I've asked many people to keep their eye out for a big boulder near the Lotse face. So far, no luck. Fast forward a couple of days, Lakpa and I are alone on the Cornest Ridge in the middle of the night, nobody else anywhere within view. We got to the base of the Hillary step, and he said, look, it's gonna be really easy. Fortunately, because the rope had been completely shredded and there was only a little sliver left. So we hand scrambled up across the Hillary step and it literally took about 15 seconds for us to go the short distance up 40 feet or about 12 or 13 meters. And I thought to myself, even though I hadn't seen it the year before, there's no way that the Hillary Step is what it used to be because it was just too darn easy. The Hillary Step was named after none other than Sir Edmund Hillary, who in 1953 approached the 40 feet or 12 meter section with his climbing partner, Tenzing Norgay. As you're looking at the Hillary Step, to the right would be a 3,000 meter or 10,000 foot drop down one side, and to the left, a 2,400 meter or 8,000 foot drop down where that boulder was that Lakba had pointed out to me. Unaided, the climb was rated about a class four rock climb. But when Ed Hillary and Tenzing were there in 1953, in the death zone, I'm sure it was just about all they could muster to get to the top of it. And they had a length of rope of about that same height, just enough to get Hillary over the top to bring Tenzing up behind him, shortly after which they were right on the summit. As many of you know from seeing some of the shorts and some of the other stories that I've done on this video, the Hillary Step has a lot of notorious stories behind it. One of them is right in the location where the legendary Hungarian climber Szilard Suhaida disappeared in 2023. And very close to that, there is actually a body hanging below it in an area that would make it almost impossible to recover. It's a signpost along the way toward the summit and one of the unfortunate and most dubious landmarks along the way. A year or two after the Hillary Step had been reported missing, Alan Arnett, the Everest historian and blogger and climber, reached out to several of his guide friends and he said, would you please take some photographs for me so I can measure them and do some before and after research about the Hillary Step. Is it there and is it not? And curiously, after he sent that email out, he got a response. He said, I got a shocking reply from one who wished to remain anonymous we're not supposed to be talking about the Hillary step. I guess they have been telling Westerners in the ministry briefing not to talk to the media about it. That has to be the most ridiculous thing I've heard out of the ministry. So what the heck? The government of Nepal says, put the kibosh on the Hillary step. We want to make sure that climbers think it's there. Now, in the years following, there's no definitive statement that's come from the ministry on whether the Hillary step is there or not. And at the time of the recording of this video, I've not heard anything back from them. If I do hear, I will do a follow-up short on it and attach it in the description of this video. And if I receive an email today before I finish editing it, I'll drop it later in the video as well. Arnett surmised that despite the delays that the Hillary step has caused in many of the years when the summit windows are very small, that the ministry still believes that the Hillary step is a big marketing element and they don't want people to think or to know that it's gone. Go figure.
So I guess you could say it's like a marketing tool or something, but we all know that mountains change. Here in New Hampshire, the same thing happened. The iconic old man of the mountain fell off some years ago, and it literally became an image that was known everywhere on the license plates in New Hampshire and wherever you look, but it fell off the mountain. We know that mountains change. Now the Hillary Step is a tiny boulder in comparison to what took place on Mount Cook, the highest mountain in New Zealand in 1991. There was a rock slide on the mountain that took away 30 meters off the height of the mountain. That is a lot of rock. And they said that the rock slide traveled a distance of almost eight kilometers. Absolutely amazing. So we know that mountains are constantly changing. Hell, Nepal Ministry of Tourism agrees that Mount Everest is actually growing a few centimeters every year. So what would be such a big deal if the Hillary Step fell off and was no longer there? So let's take a look at the before and after of the Hillary step and I'll let you decide what you think about the Hillary step. Is it there or is it not? Here's a historical photograph of the Hillary step and then here is a 2018 on the right taken by guide Casey Grom. You can just see how different it is. The climbers are just walking up a ramp essentially. It just points out how absurd to say that these claims or the belief that the Hillary step is no longer there are wrong. It's just ridiculous, but it's not like anybody who wants can just go up there and have a look. You have to actually be on your summit day. And so the only thing that we have to actually prove it or disprove it are these before and after photographs. So here's an interesting look at Tim Mosdale's post from 2017 on Facebook. And he says he really doesn't know why so many people have been in denial about this, especially people reporting who weren't even on the mountain. But the article published in Outside Magazine backs up what he saw on the first summit window on the 16th of May, 2017, when we summited. Mosdale goes on to post a series of photographs that the Ministry of Tourism asserted that Mosdale was mistaken. They are quoted to have said, the misconception may have appeared as a new route to the summit has been constructed some five meters to the right of the original route. And Mosdale agreed that the route was to the right, but it was because the Hillary step wasn't there and that they were able to ascend up a ramp. When I was there in 2016, I was on the latter part of the summit pushes, and therefore that's why the rope was almost completely broken in half when we got there. But we essentially went straight up and scrambled up it, and I see in that photograph that shows that people went off to their right and angled up over it. Lakpa and I went straight up right the middle there, and it was an easy scramble up and a very easy scramble down, even in the dark, which is when we were there. So this is kind of a cool part of Mosdale's post. He said, what particularly irked me were the people, was the people who shouted fake news to his assertion that the Hillary step was gone. And then he wrote, what, why on earth would I try and report something that could so easily be disproven? Why would I put my reputation on the line? Yeah, so again, Ong Shering from the Nepal Mountaineering Association said that the Hillary Step being gone is a false rumor. After this news surfaced, I checked with Sherpas, climbers, and officials at the base camp. Hillary Step is intact said the rock face had been covered by excessive snowfall, so some people assumed it had collapsed. Go figure. As Mosdale says, it's part of mountaineering folklore. And if the Hillary step is gone, then what do we have left? Well, actually, it turns it into something more of a story of mystery and intrigue and curiosity. And so in some respects, you can understand why the government of Nepal, the Ministry of Tourism says, no, it's not gone. On the other hand, with it gone, should it be gone, it adds a lot of mystique to something. I wish that I had a chance to climb the real Hillary step, but 
with it gone. It's also one of those sections that creates a lot more traffic jams because it's so difficult to get up and down. It's that difficult. So this is a very dangerous section where there have been a lot of log jams in the past. So what's the verdict? What do you think? I want to know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let's take a look at a few more pictures again. Just to reiterate, on the left is the previous before 2015, and on the right is after the earthquake of 2015. What reason would the Nepal ministry have to cover something like this up? It's really peculiar and a curiosity to me. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. And if you think that the Hillary step not being there makes Everest less interesting, if you were gonna go, would it change your mind? Or would you actually be excited because one of the most difficult cruxes of summit day has now been removed? I really wanna know. So share your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you take the opportunity to subscribe and check out the membership levels by clicking the join button. In the meantime, thanks for taking time out of your day to take a look at this cool video. A lot more coming this year. Take care of yourself. Take care of those you love. Do somebody a favor and don't look for anything in return. Make the world a better place one day at a time. Take care, my friends.